Hey guys, how you living? I hope you're doing well today, wherever you are, whatever you're up to. The last little while I've been doing videos for another platform called Quora. If you're not familiar with Quora, it's kind of a open source sharing platform for people who have questions about really anything. And the questions I've most enjoyed answering have been questions about the country of Canada. So today I want to give you guys the answer that I gave to a question that's garnered the most views. It's, it's the question that the most people out there in Quora have watched. And the question was this, what do I do when I visit Canada? Well, there's four parts to the answer that I gave. And part number one is this, decide which region you're gonna visit. Canada has 10 provinces and three territories. It's the second largest country in the world, and it has the fourth largest dry land area, and the second largest fresh water area in all the world. So I guess what I was trying to say is Canada is a large piece of real estate and unless you specifically know where you're going to go, it's hard to know what to do when you're going to get there. So first thing you need to do is pick a spot. Do you want to visit the west coast? Come slightly inland to the west interior where there's mountains? Do you want to hit the prairie provinces? Do you want to visit the great Canadian shield? Do you want to be more out towards the Atlantic provinces or up north perhaps? What area of the country do you want to go to? Make that decision first and that'll help you in determining what you're going to do when you get there. The second part of the answer was, decide what season you're gonna visit us in. I mean, the whole world's got four seasons, not just Canada. But depending what season you're gonna visit us in, that's really gonna determine, in a lot of ways, what you're gonna do. I mean, obviously Canada's known for its winters, all the different outdoor snow adventures. I mean, if you're in central Canada, in Ontario or Quebec, You've got amazing riverways that you can skate down. How cool is that? On the flip side, if you're in the west in the mountains, snowshoeing, I mean really anywhere where there's snow you can go snowshoeing, but some snowshoeing adventures that I've done in the mountainous areas of British Columbia have been just the best ever. So what season are you going to visit in? That's going to determine a lot of what you're going to do. So that's the region and the season. The third bit of the answer that I gave was this, mix it up between urban rural and wilderness. I mean Canada has got some amazing world-class cities and within those cities there's a massive amount of diversity in the cultures, in the foods, in the events, in the creativity. You can go shopping at places, sightseeing in different locations and landmarks. I mean the sky's the limit in Canadian cities. And on the other hand you've got rural Canada. Great places to go on day trips and explore the unexpected. Find out the history of those small towns and communities. I mean, pop into a coffee shop at any of those kind of locations, find somebody who's local and sit down and ask them about the history of the place. Ask them about stories that they've had as they grew up or if they lived in that place for probably close to their entire lives. Rural Canada is a place that you definitely want to check out right along the big cities. And finally, you want to check out the wilderness because Canada is a great mass of wilderness. In fact, there is more wilderness than cities and towns and rural locations all combined. Canada is a great place to get outdoors and explore creation, like I'm always telling you and inviting you to do on this channel. Now when you get out into the wilderness, make sure you've got some kind of a plan. Make sure people know where you are if you're going to be off the grid. Make sure you do your homework before you go. I mean, find cool places to go on Instagram. Do some Googling and research before you get to a destination so you can maximize your time there and also be safe when you're there. Remember, it is the wilderness. This is the great outdoors of North America and you don't want to walk into it ill prepared. Having said that, regardless of which one you choose, whether it's a city, whether it's the rural, or whether it's the wilderness, you've got to include all of those in any trip to Canada that you're planning on taking. And finally, you've got to see Canada from different perspectives. Here's what I mean by that. Last summer, I did a road trip across most of Canada. I started this video by sharing that with you. I took planes, I took automobiles, I took buses, and I was on trains, and all of those gave me a different perspective on the nation. The time on the train was fantastic. Going across our country by rail, the way they would have back in the day, opened up a whole new perspective on this country that I'd never experienced before. So that was really wild. I also went from city to city on airplanes. And, and looking down at the mountains from above, that's incredible. 
seeing the prairies unfold before you from 10 or 20 or 30,000 feet, however, however high your plane is, uh, that's something you don't want to miss out on. On the west coast, you can take ferries from the mainland to Vancouver Island. And that's a perspective you don't want to miss. I mean, I've seen whales, I've seen dolphins, I've seen sea lions, I've seen beautiful sunsets unfolding before me that I would not have seen if I hadn't been on the water on those ferries. And finally, uh, taking buses from point A to point B. It's a long time to get from point A to point B on a bus, but again, it slows you down. You've got nothing else to do but look out the window and enjoy the scenery. Canada is a beautiful place to explore. And anybody who decides to travel here will not be disappointed. There's so much diversity in this place. There's so much beauty in this place. Uh, but you've got to have a plan when you get there. And so that was kind of what I shared in my answer to that question on Quora. And it's something I wanted to share with you guys too. Because I want to invite you, the globe, to come and hang out in Canada. See our country. It's a beautiful, beautiful destination. You've got to make the trip. On the other hand, if you're from Canada and you haven't seen the entirety of the country, I know I haven't seen it all yet. Man, get outside, start exploring, enjoy all that's out there because it's unending, it's absolutely gorgeous, and it's just waiting to host you. Hey guys, thanks for kicking around on this video. It's been great to have you. I hope you found this stuff interesting. Why not leave a comment below as to the place in Canada you most want to explore or the place you want to go next. Uh, leave a like. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our episodes. There's new stuff always on the way. And in the meantime, why don't you get outside and enjoy creation. Have a great one, guys. Cheers.